What's up, motherfuckers? It's Sunday, February 7th, 2021, and I've decided that uh, I've just uh, become too fucking sloppy since uh, this whole shutdown. And uh, I actually have not been, not worked out at a gym since the day before the shutdown. And this is uh, the longest since I was like 12 that I had not worked out in a gym. Now, I have been working out at home, but uh, here and there, but it's just, uh, yeah, this is, I've really just fallen off. So, I decided to uh, do another transformation. Um, and record it this time because I've just gotten so lazy. If I don't do this, I'm probably not going to have as much motivation. So at least if I do this, put this video up and keep track of it, that'll give me a little more motivation. Um, so yeah, let's begin. This is not really the worst I've ever, well actually, it's not the worst I've looked. I mean, I've been fatter, but this is, I'm just saying, this is kind of, it's, I just, I, I feel like I let myself go way too much this time. So, this is video one, and uh, later... This week, I will actually be going, starting to work out at a gym. Okay, first time since the shutdown. So that's going to be, uh, you know, part of this. Um, so let's get started. So as usual, well, how it usually goes, first weigh in. Because I'm gonna take my, uh, I'm just this is where my body fat is and my weight just to begin. this it's gonna show 223.8 I don't know like it's supposed to okay 223.8 don't pay attention to those other numbers uh, I actually weighed myself before and I just did this and did all the math already so I'm just trying to show you so, when I first weighed myself, I was 223.2, okay, then I used this to estimate my body fat, okay, if you've seen that other video of me, you kind of know how this goes, but if anyone doesn't know how this goes, uh, so this is how you do it, so 223.2, you multiply, and then I got a 20.4% body fat on my tester. And then what you do is you multiply 223.2 overall body weight times your body fat. And this is the percentage. Uh, what is the word? Fucking in a decimal form. Let's see, see how many brain cells I've lost since uh, the last time I did this. So, this is the body fat in uh, decimal form, and you multiply those two, and then you get, I got 45.53, which is the pounds of body fat of my weight. How many pounds of my body weight is fat, okay? 
So to find your lean mass, here's my overall body weight, 223.2 minus the 45.53 pounds of fat. And it comes out to, I got 177.67 pounds of lean mass. So that's my lean mass. And then I have 45.53 pounds of fat on my body. Okay. So that's where I'm starting. And then these numbers are, I mean, everybody should do this. I always do this for my clients because it's the most, it's for me, it's, it's how you put your progress into numbers. Like if you do this every week, well, I will do it. I will. I would do this for my clients every week, and I would do it. I mean, I would do it for myself every week. So ideally, you want your lean mass going up. So I want this number going up, and I want this number, my pounds of fat, going down. Okay. Ideally, you want your lean mass going up and your fat going down. Okay. So, um, I'm going to show you how I look too. It's not the prettiest, but I got to show you where I'm starting. Yeah, I got a good amount of belly fat there. This is the first time I'm, like, documenting it on video, because, like, pictures kind of, you know, pictures cannot really, pictures can lie. I mean, I'm pretty honest about my shit, but it's, okay. So, got that. Um... I've also been eating like shit, just not really caring too much. I haven't been eating the worst, but, you know, I just haven't really, with all this corona shit, I mean, I really just, I think most people just stopped giving a fuck, you know, even a lot of the fitness people, it's just demotivational, everyone's demotivated, I mean, when the people who you usually look up to are uh, you know, demotivated, I mean, how's that going to make you feel even more demotivated, so, you know, I think it just, uh, this whole thing really just affected everybody, um, in a mostly negative way, and, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, it's the first time I never really, the, um, first time, this has been the first time in my life where it was, uh, there wasn't really, uh, you didn't even have the option to go to the gym, so, um, yeah, it's been interesting, so yeah, there you have it, um, I'm gonna keep, uh, I'll probably post a video, like, at least one a week, um, starting this, this week, and then also uh, check out my blog, bctrainer.blogspot.com, for uh, more stuff. Uh, I'll kind of post some, uh, you know, I usually post shit on there. It's not always, uh, you know, it's mostly fitness stuff, but it's always just whatever's, whatever's in my mind that's just relating to life and, uh, you know, what's going on and, you know, how to, how to fix your change your mindset from a negative mindset to a positive mindset, you know, just anything that can help just in general, because, you know, it's not all just about how you look. I mean, you can look great and just have the worst, uh, mindset in the world. Honestly, it's, well, I mean, that's, that's, it's happened to me before, you know, maybe I'm a little 
unusual example, but um, I'm just I'm just saying. Right now, I'm trying to, you know, you want the mind, you want the mind and the body on the same level. Okay, you don't just want your body looking great and your mind is shit. Okay. And then you don't, at the same time, you don't want your mind to be great, and then your body is shit. You, ideally, this is where, you know, I'm trying to get it both up here. Alright, so, stay tuned.